there. My name is Shauna Bernardin and I'm here with Global Groomers and I'm going to be giving you some quick grooming tips today and I just wanted to show you this is little Mary White and she's a purebred toy poodle and she's in a little Asian fusion haircut. So I'm going to come today with you and I'm going to show you some quick tricks and tips that you can apply and hopefully get better at your I'm just going to show you Mary having a bath. Mary gets a bath about every seven days, and I really love this wall whitening shampoo on her. It's not abrasive. She has really sensitive skin. I have really sensitive hands, so I love this product for her. It smells great. I think that the bathing is super important for you guys. Uh, you need to do it twice. I feel like a lot of groomers don't put enough emphasis on how important the bath is. So I always scrub them twice. I use a good amount of shampoo. I always tell everybody it's the cheapest part of your day. So I feel like it's really important for you guys to remember that. If you don't have a good bath and a blow dry, there's no way you can possibly achieve an excellent haircut. Here we are back with Mary after her bath and her blow dry and a little fluff. Uh, we do Mary a lot. She gets done about every, I'd say seven days, maybe 10 days at the maximum. She has really thick hair. She's our own dog, so I like to keep her in nice condition. Uh, today I'm going to show you our new uh, updated Arco from Wall. It's beautiful. I love the shape and size of it. I'm going to use the yellow attachment with the number 40 blade underneath of it. So this really just takes the ends off of her. Mary does not love grooming, by the way. Everybody loves Mary. Nobody loves, she doesn't love grooming at all, this girl. So I'm just taking this up with the hair. I really love the size of this clipper. She's very small. She only weighs four pounds. And I'm just running that off the leg. I want to give her a bit of a flared leg. So I'll just turn her around on this side. I'm going to pull the skin a little bit tight. And I'm always working on clean hair too. That's another quick little pro tip for you. So you can see how this clipper is really gonna save you guys time and energy and money. I'm gonna give you a little bevel lesson and I think bevels are really difficult for a lot of people. Uh, she had clean feet in the summertime so she's just growing her bevels back right now. Now a couple of key important things is that her nails are already done and her pads are already shaped. Make sure that's done every single time. Now I like a little round curved scissor to do my bevels and I've combed all the hair to both sides and it's really well combed out. And then I'm gonna go underneath with my curved scissor and I'm just gonna balance that out, being careful not to go into the top of the foot. I just wanna clear the bottom of that foot. This is gonna take time, so you guys need to have patience. So we just clear the bottom of the foot, then put the weight back down on the foot and then we're gonna just take our round scissors and we're just gonna follow that line around. All right. And you're gonna fit the two together from the top of the foot into the bottom of the bevel. And you want to just do that slow and steady. I hope these little tips are helping you. Work hard on your bevels. They'll come. Keep practicing. Back with Mary. We're almost finished. I just want to give you a few tips on her face. Uh, I suppose you would consider this sort of an Asian fusion look. We just call it the Mary look. She's a very, very popular little toy poodle. We love little Mary. So I'm going to over direct her bang line. I'm just going to use a little mister and I'm going to over direct that bang line. And I'm just going to tip her head over a little bit. And I'm just going to touch that line. I don't need to take much off of that. She's in the process of just changing her hairstyle right now. We change her face all the time. You guys can see lots of little faces on her. I really, really like the thinning shears. When you're doing these shorter faces, the fusion faces, you're gonna wanna go in and use the thinning shears on this. It makes a huge, huge difference. And I always like to work with her smiling, so I work with it up this way. 
And another thing is I like to take the thinning shears over the top of her ear and blend these two together. I feel like it really makes a huge difference. And then I'm just gonna take my little Asian hard curve scissors and I'm just gonna clean that up. So remember, we're working in an upwards motion. We always wanna make them look like they're smiling. And I'm always just combing those little bits up and combing that straight out. I hope you guys are getting some good right, tips. And in the Mary, I think she turned out pretty adorable. You could consider this kind of an Asian fusion, or if you want to do this something like this, similar in your salon, how you can go about that commercially is you could use the yellow or the number one, all the way down to a number two on the body, okay? And you're gonna use that on your wall arco with a 40 blade. And then on the legs, you can use the lavender and then just scissor it in. You're gonna get a very similar effect. Really cute little face on her. If you guys are enjoying these videos, please push like, please share, and then subscribe. Have a great day.